Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2021 miniseries called Our First 17. The story surrounds a shy high school girl named On You. She loves to play the piano and wants to pursue a career in music. At the beginning of the film, we see her at a bus stop anxiously waiting for the bus, since it is her first day at the new school. To calm her nerves, she listens to her favorite YouTuber cover artist named Yi Sok. He has millions of fans, and On You claims to be the biggest one. While she is at it, someone taps her on the shoulder. Initially, she thinks they are asking her to scoot over, but upon looking back at the person, she is left beyond shocked. The person is none other than her favorite singer, Yi Sok. On Yu has to look at her phone and back at him to make sure she isn't hallucinating. It turns out that Yi Sok also goes to the same school, and both of them have just missed the bus. In the following scene, On Yu is in front of the class introducing herself. Yi Sok is the class president and is asked to help On Yu get familiar with the school. While walking to her seat, she accidentally drops a girl's belongings and is quick to apologize. The girl's name is Si Young, the typical bully who thinks she is better than everyone else. Si Young tells On Yu to be careful and makes fun of her skirt. Before she can make On Yu cry, Yi Sok intervenes and asks her to take a seat. During recess, Yi Sok walks out of the classroom and bumps into a senior named Ye Chong. The two seem to have a rivalry as Ye Chon bumps his shoulder into Yi Sak's before walking away. Ye Chon is also On Yu's childhood best friend. They meet each other and go to the back of the school where they can talk in private. After that, On Yu meets a kind duo, Su Mong and Ha Yoon. They are members of the music club and are always together mixing and making music. On Yu shares her snacks with them and is glad that they are kind to her. During lunch break, she is alone, so she decides to take a tour of the school. She eventually ends up in the music room that has a grand piano. She doesn't think before playing a beautiful melody. Behind her, Yi Sok, Su Mong, and Ha Yoon listen to the song. Impressed by her talent, they invite her to join the music club. It turns out that the videos Yi Sok uploads to YouTube are filmed and edited by the girls. They want to make an addition to make the videos more entertaining, and on you playing the piano in the background would be perfect. However, she declines because she isn't confident in her talent. Later that day, Yichan comes to the classroom to visit on you. He finds her watching a video of her playing the piano, but she quickly closes it on seeing him. She reveals that she wants to join the music club, but is not sure she should. Somewhere else, Yi Sok, Su Mong, and Ha Yoon are discussing their decreasing engagement in their recent YouTube videos. They think On Yu's involvement will surely increase the numbers. Ha Yoon suggests they ask for Ye Chan's help to convince her, seeing the two seem to be close. As On Yu and Ye Chan are together in the classroom, Yi Sok arrives and asks On Yu if she has changed her mind about the music club. A jealous Ye Chan blurts out that he will also be joining the club with On Yu. In the following scene, On Yu is at home looking at her old music notes. When her mother arrives, she quickly hides them under her bed. It turns out that Anyu's mother doesn't want her to pursue music. She is constantly comparing her to her older brother and telling her to focus on her grades. This is the primary reason why Anyu doesn't want to join the music club. The next day at school, Si Young and her bully friends confront Anyu, ordering her to stay out of the music room. But Su Mong and Ha Yoon stop the bullies and teach them a lesson. They also invite Anyu to eat lunch with them, welcoming her to the group. They go to the rooftop and talk. By the end of the conversation, Anyu says that she is ready to join the club. Meanwhile, Si Young and her friends are furious at Su Mong for treating them like trash in front of the new girl. So they dig up Su Mong's Instagram and find something to teach her a lesson. Then, we find out that although Yi Sok is popular in the virtual world, in real life, people take advantage of his kindness. While returning home that day, he gets a call from his classmates. They beg him to complete the group project by himself because they are busy. When Yi Sok agrees, he hears them call him an idiot through the phone. Because of how he's treated by his peers, he doesn't have much confidence in himself. The following day, On Yu and Yi Sok are alone in the classroom. He reveals that he is doing a group project by himself, and he thinks that it is pathetic. On Yu, in turn, assures him that his peers are the ones at fault for being lazy. Her kindness makes a huge impression on Yi Sok, who was in a bad mood before talking to her. After school, the entire club goes live to introduce the new members. Everything goes well until they notice the people in the comments slandering Su Mong. Then, we are shown a video of her stealing leftover food from a restaurant in middle school. The bully Si Young has uploaded the video on the internet causing people to drag Su Mong, calling her filthy. She runs away to be alone for a while. In the meantime, the others do their best to remove the video and the mean comments. On Yu and Ha Un find Su Mong on the terrace and assure her that they will get through this together. However, Su Mong lashes out at them and walks away. On her way home, Su Mong remembers the time that she stole the food, which was for her poor grandma. Ha Un caught her in the act, but instead of making fun of her, she offered her a different packet of sauce to take home. Back in the present, she finds Ha-Un and An Yu waiting for her outside. They share a pineapple together and embrace each other in a hug. After that day, Yi Sok and An Yu start practicing together every day. Yi Sok finds out that An Yu also makes her own music and encourages her to go on. However, 
her mother's reaction is not the same. Upon finding out that Anu has started to do music again, she gets upset. She thinks that her daughter is not talented enough to pursue music, which destroys Anu's self-confidence. She breaks down into tears and calls Jachan. The two talk for a while, and the conversation makes Anu feel a lot better. The next day, she goes to the library with Yisok, but Yachan gets a hint of this and joins them. The two playfully argue with each other, which makes Yisok feel a certain way. He texts Anu and asks her to come outside to study one-on-one. -on -one. She happily agrees, and the two make their way out, leaving Yachan wandering. After the study session, everyone gathers for lunch. Yisok asks Anu to write an original song for him, but she isn't confident in her skills. Upon being urged, she promises to do it someday. In the following scene, we are shown a flashback of the time that Yisok and Yachan were still friends. They used to sing together and upload covers on YouTube, but the audience favored Yisok and insulted Yachan. One time, they auditioned for a really big record label. The judges sent their feedback and said that they only wanted Yisok. To avoid hurting Yachan's feelings, Yisok never told him about this and secretly joined the label. But when Yachan found out, he felt betrayed. Hence, their relationship was never the same after that. Back in the present, Yachan asked Yisok to stay away from Anu if he wants to leave her as he left him. Yisok clarifies that he never signed a deal with the label because he didn't want to be there without Yachan. He also tried several times to get into contact with Yachan, but he was always dismissed. The two solve their differences after apologizing to each other. Later, the girls find them sleeping beside each other, having accidentally been locked inside the staircase. As days pass by, the girls become inseparable. But with a new addition to the friend group comes jealousy. One day, Haoun finds out that Anyu and Sumong went to karaoke without her. They pretended that they bumped into each other, but it is clear that the meeting was planned. Later, they are paired for a group project, which hurts Haoun even more. She asks them to stop acting like they care about her and runs away. When it gets dark, Sumong finds Haoun in a park. Haoun reveals how she is feeling lately, which makes Sumong feel awful. But just then, Yachan, Yisak, and Anyu jump out of the bushes with a cake. It is Hayun's birthday, and the reason Sumong and Anyu hung out together was to buy her a surprise cake. They devour the cake and take a lot of pictures, going back to being the inseparable friend group. When everyone starts to leave, Yuchan offers to drop Anyu home, but she says that she has some work with Yisok. She has composed a song and wants him to listen to it. Yisok is surprised and impressed by it. Since Anyu is still working on it, she wants to take some time to make it perfect. The next day, Yuchan is anxious about what Anyu and Yisok talked about yesterday. He asks them, but since Anyu wants to keep it a secret, she promises to tell him later. This doesn't help Yuchan's anxiety and jealousy. In class, Anyu and the bully Siyong get into an argument when Siyong refuses to give her the keys to the music room. Hayun intervenes to teach Siyong a lesson, but Anyu stops her. When no one is around, the bully goes through Anyu's belongings and finds her notebook. It also has a Polaroid picture of the group inside it, which makes Siyong jealous. Outside, Anyu meets Yuchan at the back of the school. Yuchan finds out that she is writing a song for Yisak. When Anyu returns to the classroom, she sees that her notebook is missing. It has all the lyrics and composition, which means she will have to start over again. In the following scene, she and Yusak are practicing together. They make a new composition note and continue from the beginning, but the lost notebook still doesn't leave Anyu's mind. When she complains about the lost picture, the girls take another one and promise to take more pictures together so that the one that was lost doesn't matter. Later that day, Anyu, Yusak, and Yuchan are together talking about the theme of the song. Yisok finds out that Anyu's favorite season is spring and decides to start writing with that in mind. He also notices how close Anyu and Yuchan are and chooses to stop pursuing her since they seem to be in love. For the next few days, he completely ignores Anyu, even though she makes several attempts to talk to him. Yuchan notices this and sees how sad Anyu is because of his ignorance. So, when he and Yisok are together later, he reveals that Anyu is only a friend to him. Because she has been his best friend for so long, he gets jealous when her attention is divided. Still, he gives Yisok the green light to pursue on you. At night, Yisok calls her and invites her to write lyrics with him. They meet the next day and complete the song. In the last scene, we see the two perform in front of the rest of the group.